Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to create an announcement. The announcement feature is a great communication and classroom management tool. Your announcement uh, module will be on your home page as you can see on this one. And there's two ways that you can access this. First of all I need to get, go up to the right hand corner and put the edit mode on. And again you know when you're in edit mode if you see the two headed arrow or if you have a four headed arrow that allows you to move your module around. Now two ways to get into this. One is just to click on more announcements and it will take you in there where you can create an announcement or you can go down to the control panel and expand course tools and click on announcements down there. They both take you to the same place. Um, you can see that I do have one announcement already posted here. I'm going to create another announcement real quick so I click on the create announcement button I've got some information that I've copied from my schedule and I'm just going to paste it in there and I'm going to call this week one assignment reminder. Now I use this the way that I use my announcement and you may use yours in different ways is I put my on for my online class every Monday my students get this an, an announcement of what's due that week and what the assignments are. It's just kind of a backup reminder to what I have on the course schedule. It's a very good management tool. The announcements are always up there. I put them up there every Monday. The students know they're there and can look at them. I don't get any questions about I didn't know when my assignment was due. So it's worth the effort of putting them up as a reinforcement. Now I can. All, I wanted to also show you in this that occasionally I will I will add an outside link. In this case, I've put up a plagiarism quiz and information which jumps outside of Blackboard. And you just select your text, and then you can put your hyperlink in there and open it in a new window. Very easy to do. Um, other things you may want to if there's events happening in the world, I might use um, a history.com and put something about what's going on or a holiday. So you can add extra bits in here. It's another way to kind of communicate on a weekly basis with your students, the whole class. Now the whole class can see this. Okay, so I go down to my settings. Um, if I want it to stay up, then I would just use not, uh, not date restricted. If I want to restrict it, and uh, right now I have mine coming up each Monday, so I do them ahead of time. So if I select display after, say I displayed it, set it up to display on March 19th at, let's see here, 7 a.m. and if I leave this second one, uh, display until open, then it will open on this date and just stay open. So that's how I particularly use this. Now you can also go in that morning, uh, say if I went in on Monday morning on the 19th, I would click send a copy of this announcement immediately and then my students would also get an email copy of it. So again, it's a very good tool. If you have a link that you want them to, to add to the whole thing, you can add another link there. So I'm going to hit click Submit. And now I have my welcome and my week one reminder. Now, one other little thing I wanted to show you here. If you want to reuse your, um, your announcements the next semester, First of all, be careful that your, your information is current. But it looks bad if you have a old date on it. So one way around that is to click on your Chevron next to your announcement. Click Edit. Then just click Submit. And it will change the date up to the current date. And that's how easy it is to create an announcement and how easy it is to use it as a classroom management tool.